Nigerian entrepreneur Mustafa Gajibu has been converting minibuses into electric vehicles at his workshop in Bono State. He was a mechanical engineering student at the University of Medjugorje, but he put his education on hold to pursue his dream. Our team visited his workshop and he takes us through his journey. On the roads of Medjugorje, Bornu State, northeast Nigeria, electric minibuses are seen amidst petrol powered tricycles and cars. This green and white made in Nigeria minibus plies the Baga Road, Kasua, and local passengers are seen going aboard as they can hardly tell its difference from other vehicles running on petrol. The electric minibuses are the handwork of Nigerian entrepreneur Mustafa Gajibo, who says he has a passion in renewable energy, one that was conflicting with his university education. With the nature of the work of my dad, as of that time, he's a civil servant, a federal government worker. So he often gets transferred to so many states. So I started my primary school in Mubi, where he was transferred to Bauchi, where I continued my primary school. And uh, from Bauchi State, we came down to Kono, Meiduguri, where I completed my primary school and also joined the secondary school here in Meiduguri, and also completed my secondary school here in Meiduguri. Then I joined the University of Meiduguri, uh, mechanical engineering, uh, and then I started and then after some time, I think up to 300 level, then I developed so much passion in the renewable energy sector where it always conflicts with my education. So I decided to uh, drop out of the school and focus more on the, the renewable energy business that I'm doing now. <laughs> Mustafa Gajibo is the managing director of Phoenix Renewables, a company that designs solar-powered cars. He says he has always had a drive for innovation, technical creativity and renewable energy. It was this drive that made him identify the problems in his immediate community. Uh, the whole uh, problems that uh, the whole world is facing, not only Nigeria, but not only Africa also, but the whole world. We are having issues of shortage in uh, electricity, that's energy. We are having a lot of uh, problems when it comes to mobility also. Uh, prices of uh, fuel are going up all, all, it, all every day and then uh, also prices of transportation is also going up. And another concern is uh, the climate change also. You know, the vehicles and the energy sources we are using mostly are fossil fuel powered. So they are causing so much damage to our environment. And uh, I believe that uh, someone somewhere have to come up with solutions to solve all these problems. But Mustafa's journey did not just begin with these EVs electric vehicles. As an innovative thinker, he identified a potential problem and came up with a solution. After going into full into the renewable energy sector, we have been building uh, lithium batteries, storage systems for home, factories, residentials, and even bigger uh, industrial users too. So when uh, we mastered the lithium ion batteries, and uh, we now saw the possibility of using them to even build uh, electric vehicles for mobility because that's the same type of batteries that are being used for mobility and others. So, and uh, with the situation, with the current situation that our country and the whole world at large is facing uh, when it comes to mobility, we could see that uh, prices of transportation is just going up every day due to the high pump price and uh, the issue of uh, in our country today, we are having issue of subsidy removal and all these uh, issues that might come up after the full subsidy removal. So uh, I was just wondering, how will life be when uh, 
the uh, subsidy on fuel is fully removed. Even today, tra uh, transportation is causing high. So you could imagine when the transportation uh, fears how they will rise when the subsidy removal uh, is being put into effect. So uh, in my own way, I'm coming up with solutions uh, so as to solve these problems before they even arise. So that's why we went into building of electric vehicles for commercial use and even personal use. In 2018, Mustafa and his team created converting petrol-powered tricycles to electric and by 2021, they could already design and build one from scratch. In the same year, they went into minibuses, their recent work which has now made them famous. The first uh, electric tricycle we built was uh, 2018. That was uh, the first model of the tricycle you could see it in our workshop here. That's the first prototype was built in 2018, and uh, subsequently we built many more after then. With a mission to curb pollution, increase energy supply, solve mobility issues arising from the increased cost of fuel, transportation and the anticipated fuel subsidy removal, Mr. Fur's decision to delve into electric vehicles was a one-stop solution to all these problems. <laughs> For a hardware startup, getting materials to work with, whether locally designed or imported, is one hurdle. Putting them together to fit properly is another. And Mustafa tells us how they did it. Uh, when we started the electric tricycle, after deploying some for, for test runs and uh, for also we took some of the some of the samples to the Nigerian Automotive Design and Development Council for further testing and approvals, which uh, we subsequently got. Then uh, as a company which is uh, driven by technology and innovations, we now went into design and building of also uh, electric buses. We first started by converted models, uh, which uh, we get petrol-powered vehicles at uh, SKDs, that semi-knockdowns, then we bring them down, assemble them, retrofit them, and uh, also uh, feed them with electric motors and uh, motor controllers and lithium ion batteries so as to make it fully electric. Uh, we first did the prototype of the bus, uh, that's uh, early 2021, that's early last year, we did the first prototype of the uh, converted uh, mini buses and uh, after testing it could cover a distance of up to 120 to 150 kilometers on one charge then uh, looking at that then we moved into building of up to 10 units which uh, we we deployed as a as a pilot scheme and also a proof of concept to show the whole world that uh, electric uh, vehicles are possible and they are also commercially viable. So we deployed up to 10 units, which are, are currently working in the city of Meduguri. We've also, to make the whole uh, electric mobility possible also, we developed a solar power charging station so as to charge the vehicles and also uh, making it the first uh, solar powered commercialized uh, charging station for EVs in Nigeria. The main components in an electric vehicle uh, first is the electric motor which drives the whole uh, vehicle then also the storage system which is the battery which uh, powers the electric motor and also in between you're going to have the motor controller which controls the flow of the current to the electric motors and uh, also you're going to have some wire harness and uh, also uh, the retrofitting of the screens and other uh, gadgets and including the battery management systems and uh, many more uh, gadgets like the cooling systems which are being locally designed here. The converted minibuses can transport eight passengers including the driver but that wasn't enough for Mustafa and his team. 
They realized that they could increase the efficiency and sustainability of the vehicles if they built theirs from the scratch. So they did just that. A 12-seater bus that can cover up to 200 kilometers on a single charge. The first tricycle uh, is a four-seater tricycle that can cover a distance of up to 200 kilometers on one charge and uh, it has a loading capacity of up to 700 kg. Uh, it has some batteries, battery packs inside, which uh, you get it fully charged. And uh, when it is fully charged, it covers a distance of 150 to 200 kilometers. Actually, after testing the converted models of the vehicles, we, we find out that uh, uh, we could do more we could uh, increase the efficiency if these vehicles were actually designed and built by, by us. Because, you know, petrol-powered uh, petrol vehicles were not designed to be powered using uh, electric motors and batteries. So the weight and other, uh, other things were not put into consideration when building these vehicles. So uh, as a company which is driven by technology and innovation, and uh, with a very good research and development team, we sat down and uh, come up with a design to start building these vehicles fully from the scratch. We have built uh, a 12-seater bus which uh, can co cover a distance of up to uh, 200 kilometers on, on one hour. And uh, we also put into consideration a lot of challenges that we, we got at the converted models which uh, we tried as much as possible to uh, develop more technology that will suit the need of the people. Uh, so this bus uh, has a seating capacity of 12, can cover a distance of 200 kilometers on one charge. It is fully air conditioned. Uh, it's even having uh, latest features of uh, vehicles like voice command system, electric doors, and uh, many more features that you can find in 2021 or 2022 Just like many hardware startups building in Nigeria, the challenges Mustafa and his team face are not too different. Access to funding, technical manpower, materials to build with, and even foreign currency shortages are some of them. You know, this is something that has never been done in this part of the world. So uh, you're not going to find it easy to source for raw materials to build such uh, technologies. But you know, as uh, we are evolving all the time, we are looking at possibilities and ways so as to increase our local content because uh, we could not reach a sustainable economy as far as uh, we are depending on the importation, importing most of the raw materials we use in building our technologies. So far, they have built 50 electric tricycles which are located in different locations across the country, including the University of Abuja and in Lokoja, Kogi State. Ten units of the electric minibuses are also plying the roads on Meduguri for the pilot scheme. And for now, Mustafa has one charging station powered by solar for the electric vehicles.